In Romans chapter 10, speaking of the children of Israel, Paul writes, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. In other words, they love God. They're really, they really want to please God, but they don't know how to do it. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. But what does that mean, the end of the law for righteousness? It means that righteousness is no longer attained through the keeping of the law. It is no longer the means by which we are to seek to attain righteousness. Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. So that means that that only applies to those who believe. Those who do not believe are still bound by the righteous requirements of the law to do them. But those who believe are set at liberty from the law. So he goes on to say in verse 5, Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart who will ascend into the into heaven, that is to, to bring Christ down from above, or who shall descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. So again, he's saying the same thing that Moses said in that moment, right? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, in other words, he's saying, what word is it that I'm talking about? That is the word of faith which we preach. So before Moses said, you have to love the Lord your God, you have to do the commandments, you have to keep the statutes, you have to walk in the judgments. If you do that, you're going to live, right? But what does Paul say you have to do? Paul says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall 